वेलकम बैक एवरी वन दिस इज डॉक्टर आदित्य सी बी चक्रवर्ती फ्रॉम डॉक्टर टॉक्स टूडे वी विल बी डीलिंग आई हैव गॉट अ लॉट ऑफ क्वेरीज यू नो हाउ टू अप्रोच योर फर्स्ट ईयर ऑफ इंटरनल मेडिसिन फ्रॉम लॉट ऑफ माई फ्रेंड्स कमेंटिंग एंड लॉट ऑफ माई जूनियर्स आस्किंग हाउ डू यू अप्रोच इंटरनल मेडिसिन एंड हाउ डू यू अप्रोच इंटरनल मेडिसिन रेजिडेंसी इन टोटल फर्स्ट वन एज वी ऑल नो विल बी द फर्स्ट ईयर बट ऑल्सो दिस विल बी दर यू लर्न द मोस्ट Uh, proportionately you will be learning lot of new things and lot of uh, new stuff in your first year uh, than your second or third final years so how do you approach the internal medicine residency so first year first the first thing you should do is that you should of the mcq mode into patient care mode so we have we will have we would have been preparing all this time with uh, neat pg uh, mcq mode that will be the uh, mode of operation for the past one year We would have prepared topics. We would have attempted MCQs. We will be thinking in terms of MCQs. What is the most common? What is the drug of choice? And what is the uh, the name signs? Uh, rare syndromes. This is this would have been our focus of preparation for the past one year. Now going into a residency, it is more important to understand that we are going to treat patients. We are going to learn how to treat patients and how to improve their outcome. This is uh, one change. Uh, from your internal uh, from your uh, neat pg preparation into your first year of in a residency this is the first time so firstly you have to enter into their uh, first year of post graduation the first thing you should know is how to handle emergencies you should you will be learning how to handle emergencies in your casualty in your intensive care units uh, but this is the first thing you must get to know you have to know their uh, basic life support how to do an advanced correct life support how do you do uh, how do you handle emergency patient hands on handling uh, textbook handling you should see the patient look the patient feel the emergency uh, live in the emergency and treat the patient start treating the patient and make decisions in the time of emergencies this will be the first thing uh, you will be encountered don't worry you will make a lot of mistakes in your first few attempts but only with the time as the time progresses you will definitely get better at it and don't dishearten i mean you are you you would have been thinking yourself as a very intelligent guy when the first time you face emergencies you ponder you scramble and in, uh, intubation of opportunity okay that's okay it's you know you it's a learning curve that's what is more important you will be learning from your mistakes but you should learn to handle emergencies that should be the first goal of your first years second one is the procedures so you should look on you should uh, see your seniors how they are doing the procedures and you should learn to do procedures by hand by procedures the most common procedure which lendel does is includes and lumbar puncture aspiration or intubation endotracheal intubation and um, your bone marrow aspirations bone marrow biopsy uh, your aseptic uh, tapping pleural tapping pleural biopsies all these procedures which are uh, to be done in your internal medicine will be learnt in your first year by the end of your first year you should know how to put a center line and how to do an endotracheal intubation you have to jump at any opportunity that comes in your way uh, of course you will make mistakes but the, the fear of uh, making mistake should not prevent you from attempting only by doing mistakes we learn try and attempt and only with their help of our seniors and you will definitely get into it but you have to enter and attempt the procedures so this is the second thing you should know thirdly you should develop a lot of observation skills see a uh, surgeon has his weapon as his hands he can he can he needs a good hands for an internal medicine resident i think the most important thing is your brain your thinking process your thought process the way you on your observation skills the way you pick up signs and symptoms when you look at the minutest of details and picking it up and having a solid observation skills will definitely help you go in your uh, internal medicine career and you should start at the habit of observing the patient head to foot what are the mistakes what is he doing how is he responding to the uh, drugs how is he um, improving look how is vitals getting improved with each administration uh, of drugs all these things should start observing and uh, clinical examination will become very important at this stage secondly the soft skills uh, how to talk to a patient how to get the illicit history you know uh, and how do you handle problematic patient especially the vip patients and you know, how to handle them 
these are that will be lot on how do you speak to your uh, seniors how do you speak to your professors assistant professors how do you uh, speak to the patients and uh, all these soft skills you should develop uh, in your first years you have to develop a lot of patience you know uh, you can you should also develop the habit of maintaining calm under uh, under chaos you know m2 or 3 continuous emergencies it will be haywire in casualty you should maintain your calm and you should uh, start uh, doing uh, things in a calm and a quick manner that is very important these soft skills should be learned you know we don't give importance to these things but these things matter in your first years then other things would be what were the books to read that is the most common doubts you are asking so if you ask me you have to have the internal medicine uh, the washington manual of internal medicine there is a very good book uh, to have a handbook or an oxford textbook of internal medicine these are very small books you can definitely carry them along with you you see when you have an asthma patient and that when you come go and read harris and it's going to take you 30 to 40 for no 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 to fast for reading asthma medicine harris but then you can know what to do uh, by reading and uh, quickly you will get a snapshot of whatever is essential in Uh, say this case by reading this uh, ma- ma- manuals small manuals book uh, and this manual you should definitely have that in your pocket and as soon as you see a case you can if you time permits you can just get a quick uh, recall of whatever is done how we do you work up and that that is the one thing the thing that you can read in your uh, first years and the other thing if you have time if you are in a you know not so voluminous center and if you have time to read i think you have to read the symptomatology the first to find a part of pages of addisons you have you can get something out of it definitely you know uh, the thought process that 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 what i was talking earlier you can definitely get this thought process uh, sharp and by reading this fair pages you know how to if a patient comes with a cough what are the different systems you have to think of what are the uh, different diagnosis that could be possible you can think way widely from uh, reading this first fair pages of fair and if you have time you can do that Uh, the other thing uh, which i say is that you have to start observing your assistants and seniors and uh, as your professors how they respond to these situations you know because they would have been exposed to more than a lot of periods uh, two or three years than you so you have to learn it from them so uh, this observation observation skill is one that is very important and you should develop it definitely in your first year and then uh, how to handle with og callovers obg callovers that is one hectic thing you will have face in your first years and uh, obg cases are definitely very sensitive and you should be on your toes when you give these opinions because it should be pitch perfect and the other thing you you have to know as early as you enter into your first year will be how to read an ecg because uh, you will uh, have to be learning this thing compared to a faster pace than the other things you know you have to know to how within our one or two months you should be good at ecgs because uh, ecg is going to be up down and uh, i mean at least the basics of ecgs you should be knowing because you will be uh, have to see a lot of uh, this things and how to read a chest x ray that is also very important so the basics of ecg chest x rays the um, and the other investigations how do you uh, decipher this investigation what are the normal values uh, these things you should know and the common drugs the common cases you know there will be some 20 to 30 cases which will be very frequent in which are hospitally work in india I mean, you know it's common cases uh, so you have to know your repeaters has to know all these common cases in and out in your first year how do they present how do you investigate them uh, how do you change treat or values how do you practically give what which is iv or im what is the dose you have to in to be even before good you can try it on giving these drugs and you will definitely have a um, better uh, practical knowledge you know coming you should change you should have a complete change from textbook uh, to practical management so that is uh, one thing which we struggle in your first in our first years and then thesis this is forms an important part of first year uh, uh, first year uh, you will be choosing what what will be this is topic for the three years and i advise you to choose it very smartly and the topic that interests you a topic that can be done easily or uh, with I mean uh, you have to not struggle much in your final year you know in your final year your exams are getting near you will have face a lot of i mean tight times with uh, this this is it's better to choose smartly and choose what you like and choose which is which can be easily done 
uh, that will be my suggestion uh, if you are interested in research and i mean you can choose anything uh, but if uh, other than that i think you have to choose it smartly so summing up the first thing uh, in about first year is to have a mental health and a good physical health because you will be under tremendous pressure from your seniors you will be under tremendous pressures from your interns interns are your best friends as well as interns are your worst enemies uh, they can be both you are more like an intern with a responsibility that is the uh, most common feeling we get in our first years but still uh, this is the time where you learn the most of the all the three years this is the time uh, you will do much of the groundwork and trust me this will pass you have just have to maintain patience and have to make have some activity that makes you happy you know something that relieves you from the stress you should have that uh, do you should do that regularly it's important to maintain your mental health and your physical health you know uh, that is the most important thing you know patient care everything else is good but your mental health that is what is very important that that is what we try to neglect it uh, you know we can't we kind of take it for granted so maintain a good mental health and uh, um, try to treat the patients more practically get out from the mcq mode and treat the patient practically what the, how uh, you, you should try to improve the patient's life that should be your goal you know try your best to be compassionate to the patient listen to the patient observe the patient uh, observe how your seniors manage you know uh, know the common drugs know the common bedside maneuvers uh, and uh, try not to worry if you are not able to read much you know it's okay first year is not meant for reading you know first year is meant for no doing stuff it's not for reading it's more of doing stuff and observing and developing all these soft skills how to talk to a patients how to elicit history how does your senior a good senior that one good senior you know you have to have friendship with him and learn from him how to take history very well all uh, these stuffs uh, will definitely help you out so uh, that's it for uh, today and if you like this uh, video i would like you to subscribe to my channel dr talks and uh, in further videos uh, we will be talking about how to approach your second years and third years so first year it's more about survival and uh, that will be the most good year thank you